It is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Consular Episode 27? No, 28. No, yeah, 27. I don't know! I really don't know! It's gonna be 27, 28, I think, and then 29 would be the Battle of Ilum and the False Emperor. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I just can't. Anyway, uh, it's been a good few weeks. I know. I, I'm sorry. I I have no excuse. I just have no excuse. I I never do. Just just I couldn't be bothered. Um, <laughs> that's the real reason. I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, but I'm I'm here now. So because obviously I had you know a bunch of other stuff to do. You know that was E3, and then I made that big video for Knights of the Fallen Empire, which killed me because it took so long to make a whole day's worth of work. Oh, killed me. Uh, so, last time, Commander Rans got kidnapped, unfortunately, by the Empire. But, for some reason, Malgus is helping us to try and get him back. Because Darth Aho is his enemy, and Darth Aho is also our enemy, and, uh, yeah, he's kind of working with us. For some strange reason, we don't know what, though, which we're probably going to find out why soon enough... And in order to save Commander Rans, we need to go and to save with the sensor towers around the Imperial Prison camp first. I have a cold, by the way, so I I, I apologise if it sounds like I'm all snuffly. I always say snuffly for some reason rather than snuffly. It's just it's just cuter to say snuffly. Just stealth. Oh, I've been seen. Why have I been seen? No, give me a chance. I was trying to do my thingy. Yes, yes. Stop it. Stop it. Good. Uh, what was I supposed to look for? I was looking for... Seriously? Are you kidding me right now? What the hell is going on? Why... Why are you seeing me? Why are you seeing me? Stop it! Stop it! Alright, maybe this time they won't see me, but they probably will. The first one we need to disable... Seriously? How are they seeing me? This is... Why isn't my cloak working? Jedi, I'm bleeding. Well, yeah, I know. I'm going to try and get out of Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, that's why. There's a target on my back. Oh. That's interesting. What the heck? No, come on. That That is that is stupid. I... I what? What? I just... I died. And... I came back from death, and yet somehow that e not even that stealth works. Come on now, that's just ridiculous. You that just takes things to a whole new level. Seriously. Off to a great start, Charlie. You're off to a great start. Just, oh. You're a brilliant player, Charlie. Yes, you are fantastic at this game. So fantastic that you haven't even got your buffs up after you died. Where, where are my buffs? I've, I've lost my buffs. Where have they gone? There they are. Found them! Back in stealth. I know you're probably gonna target me again, but as long as you're sapped, that's fine. Um, I've gone to the wrong area. I need to go over here, but I need to sap you instead. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that was close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can target me all you want. Alright, uh, the second one would be over there. I wonder if I can actually put my blackout on and it will increase my stealth meaning they definitely can't see me. I'm gonna go with it and see what happens. Well I didn't get a target on my back that time so I'm wondering if it is actually working. Although when I get close to you then uh, you will probably see me. Oh that's just great isn't it? Oh god target again. Oh god no! Seriously I know there's a target on me but I'm far away from these guys, so how are they actually still seeing me if I'm so far away? Ooh, an achievement. I don't kind of get that, but, eh, whatever. I've basically just been told to spam Clairvoyant Strike, because that's just what people apparently do when they're playing Jedi Shadows, because apparently it's the best thing to do, even though it kind of takes up a lot of time, in fairness. Uh, right. How oh, there's, oh, great, there's even a turret. And I can't mind maze a turret! Just great. Although, actually, I wonder if I could just leg it out there. Oh, I could actually. Here we go. Uh, find some pre-commander rounds. I'm just going to leg it out of there. Ooh, a imprisoned geed. 
if that's what you call it, I don't know. Guys, gi go 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 Oh, got a blackout. Oh, no, that didn't work. Seriously, again, you are so far away, I don't understand how you can actually see me. Or maybe it's because you're the one that's targeting me. Oh, hello, Holiday, I haven't seen you in a long time. Maybe it's because you're the one that's actually targeting me. Yeah, maybe. Somebody would tell me. Oh, well, okay, yeah, so he, he can see me. That's, okay. Great. Oh, 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 oh. This is going well for me. So well. Alright, let's make our way down. Oh, seriously, you are going to get targeted, Tharen. Get out the way. Oh, God, I'm going to get targeted over here. Nope, should be alright. Where's Tharen gone? Oh, service. you're there. I was going to say, why were you getting targeted then if I was using rocket boots? I don't get that. Eh, well. Oh, finally the phase. I shouldn't be targeted anymore. I say shouldn't, but I probably will. Speak to the minion of pain. <laughs> There's actually a minion of pain. Uh, that movie's gonna be great, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to see that movie. We can't rest until the Empire is driven off Ilum for good. Are you actually saying that to me? In front of all these people? Alright then. I know you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name! Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some holograms. We well, gave you a good idea. The levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Step away from Supreme Commander Rands now. You killed Lord Loyat. You will pay dearly for taking my apprentice from me. Not that you really cared. You abandoned her when she called on you for help. She had to prove herself. She knew the price of failure. Now you will earn the price of defying me. You could have watched her Destroy die. Destroy him. Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by his screams of torment. You could have been there in her final moments, but were you? No. She wants to run away. Oh, good on your holiday. You're stunning the minion of pain. Right, heroic moment. Because that's what you do when it comes to an elite. Wait, 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 wait. Strander doesn't have any clothes on, doesn't have a torso on. So where the hell was he blowing his bloody... Uh, um, well, no, looking at it, where the hell would he have been blowing the flamethrower? Well, just... Uh, you could say, yeah, braces, but... Does it really look like that could fit fuel for a flamethrower, maybe? Does it even look like it has a flamethrower? I don't know. Why is there two of you? I was going to say, if that was Rans twice. Although they've both got the same animation. The exact same animation. If that didn't break any immersion, then I don't know what will. I owe you my life. We all do. The things those monsters did to us. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What Easy for you to say. I can't even imagine. Wait, what was that? A door. Someone coming down the hall. Arho must have sent reinforcements. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. You better take cover, sir. We can run for base camp once they're gone. Good luck. Oh, that's a different kind of voice clip for a Twi'lek. I've never heard that line before in that language. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, hello, hello, folks. How you doing? You right? Yeah. Holiday was watching. She's always watching. Lovely. Are they all dead? Nope. You. Love the command post. Good luck, and thank you. It will be easy for me. I don't know why you wish me luck because I can just, I I can just I can just quick chop there. Do I need to go there? I think so. So I need to go to the cantina. Alrighty. No. Why do you always do this to me? Uh, speak to the supreme commander. Rans, are you nice and healed yet? Oh, you're well. You're nice. We actually clothed now. You look like you. You look a lot better. Although, where's your bruise? Surely your bruise wouldn't. Oh, 
Oh, that was. Oh, ah, ah! Where's your bruise? You had a bruise. You could claim it as being blood, but seriously, that looked like a bad bruise. You made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. You're a key military asset. The Republic needs your expertise. Ilum won't be the last time we battle with the Empire. You're right, unfortunately. They're down now, but they always seem to rise again. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Wait for it. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Arho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface, to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. I was kind of expecting Malgus to be like, Right, you're back. Now to face against you! There's no way he pulled up enough resources to equip his fleet before I disabled the deep miners. Even with prototypes in only a handful of ships, Arho will have a weapon to lash out at Republic Worlds. Arho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Arho grows suspicious. He's giving us an impossible mission. We don't have the resources to defend an entire planet. Our host ships could land anywhere. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. <laughs> Back to freezing our toes. Yeah, you'll be freezing a lot more than just your toes, Strander. Do you know what the temperature is out there? I've got frostbite on my... Somewhere you really don't want to get frostbite. Oh! I know this has been hard, but Karawar and Jiandar are already leading troops against key Imperial installations. I can't afford to send anyone else. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. Alrighty. Oh, what do I get? Do I get the robe? No, I shall get the lockbox. Hopefully get something nice, but I probably won't. I got myself some cuffs. Is it better than what I'm wearing already? Eh, although, actually, the willpower will turn itself into power, won't it? So I'll get more damage, I believe. I believe I have. Lovely, but I'll keep those braces as well. So that I can get some modifications later on. Right, where are we going next? We're going all the way over there. Joy! Alright, so hopefully they won't actually see me this time unless they're going to continue targeting me. It doesn't look like they are. Right, so the first landing site is here. But do I actually have to blow up the ship or what? Or do I just blow up the landing site somehow? Well, actually, actually oh, there we go. We actually do have to blow up the ship to blow up the landing site. Wonderful! Although, yeah, disabled ship. Same difference! Can I mind maze the droid? No. Aww. Let's mind maze you though, just so that you're out of the way. Right, there we go down and destroy the landing strip. Or disable the ship at the landing strip. Again, same difference. Oh, go away. Ooh, whoa! You've frozen over. Was that supposed to happen? I don't really know. Hey ho! Frozen over. Although I don't know why they didn't freeze over then. In theory they should have, because they're on the ship, which just got super cold out of nowhere. You'd think it would. It's kinda like that moment in Ever seen like the day after tomorrow where the whole planet freezes over and then when the cold wave just traverses over the city, anybody caught in it just becomes ice. Not not ice from the pack opening intros, I mean ice is in. Brr, cold ice. 